In this video, we will learn how to use these Google advanced search operators to quickly find the search results and search results which we can manage. In this video, we will be using uh, these three operators. The first one is called related. The second one is uh, asterisk sign. This is also an operator. And the third one is site, which we have already discussed in another video. So these are the example uh, scenarios in which uh, we want to do the search. Now the first scenario is that I want to get information about a search term about this uh, word processing keyword and I want to get this information either from government websites of Australia or the Australian educational institutes. So any one of these will be fine. So the second situation is that I have forgotten the name of a book, but I know that the title of the book contains this keyword. So this is the keyword which I know that the title contains and I want to search the book on Google. Now the third situation is that Evernote is an application which is a note taking application. And I want to see whether there are some other companies uh, offering the similar kind of applications or services or there are any competitors of Evernote. So this is what I want to search for. So we will be using these three operators and before I do the search on Google, I would like to briefly introduce how these operators work. Now the related operator only works with a root domain. So root domain means the top level domain, for example, google.com, amazon.com, evernote.com, which we will be using. And this will find the related uh, companies for you. But a word of caution that sometimes it doesn't work. I have checked this with the negative operator where you want to exclude something from your search and it didn't work. So you should uh, keep this in mind, but in most of the large companies, it works perfectly fine. For example, Amazon, Google, PayPal, eBay, so these kind of companies, you can find uh, the relevant companies or other competitors of these companies. Now the next is asterisk. This works uh, just like a wildcard uh, um, character, which you can use uh, anywhere where you think that something is missing, some words are missing. So you can just put asterisk and Google will uh, understand that there might be some other words in this location. Now the site we have discussed already in another video. You use this site uh, operator when you are concerned only about a single website or websites of a particular type. For example, in our scenario, we know that all government websites of Australia, they have .gov and .au, .gov, .au at the end. And all Australian educational institutes, they have .edu, .au domain. So these are the two domains which we will be using in this operator. So now let's do this on Google and see how it works. So I have just pasted the query here to save some time. So this is the query which I will be making on uh, Google search uh, dialog box. Word processing is the keyword site colon is the operator and inside the parentheses I would say .gov.au or .edu.au. So this will give me the desired results. So if I press enter now and as you can see that we have this word processing uh, appearing in uh, most of the uh, pages and also all these pages have .edu at the end or we might get some .gov.au as we go further down. And as you can see that this is the, the Australian government website. So this is how you can find this. But the problem is that these results are too many. So what we can do here is quickly we can put the quotation marks here. If we are thinking that only we need this exact phrase. And now we have 2.26 million. And if I press enter now, we get only 350,000 results. And now if you want to reduce the results further, then you can use the techniques uh, like in title or in URL, which we have discussed in another video. So this was the first example. Now I will quickly paste the query for the second example. Now our second example is that I forgot the name of the book, but I know that I, uh, the title contains online entrepreneurs. 
So in order to uh, find these type of queries, I will just put asterisk and then online entrepreneurs, very simple. And I will just click enter. So this is the first step. But because I want to search only in books, then I have to click in this more and inside this more we have books. So if I click on books, I will get all the results and now I can quickly uh, recognize the book that this is the book I was looking for because I have seen the book before. So this is how you can uh, search queries when you don't know something, just put asterisk, you can put on either side, you can put in the middle wherever you want. And to do the third query, we want to go to all again because you now we are in the books area. And now we just type here related and then colon and then evernote.com because it only works with the root domain. So now if I press enter, it will show me all the related websites such as Dropbox because Evernote is a note taking app which saves our notes on cloud. So this is a cloud storage uh, company. Then Wonderlist is also a note taking app. DII Geo, Pocket is a note taking app. Trello is a project management app which is very closely related uh, like productivity. Then there are Hootsuite, Todoist. Todoist is the biggest competitor of Evernote. This is a note taking app. So as you can see that we get very closely related results. And the good thing is that we only get 39 results. There are not millions of results. So when you are looking for any competitor of a company so that you could have a choice, for example, you are buying a product from PayPal and you want to see, is there any alternative I have? So you can just quickly do this related search at the root domain and find the competitors or related companies. So this is how you can do searches in uh, these kind of situations.